Okay, guys, we're finally back now. After sorting out that little uh, glyph, we can now continue on with the main story. Now let's check on Claudia and Maria and see how they're doing. And it looks like they're not doing too don't good. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. It's not a bad place, come on. I mean, it's not like the worst place you could be. At least you've got a mansion to stay in with loads of rooms. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go check on, uh, this place here. And it looks like this is... What's that icon? Oh, I know what that icon is. I forgot what that was, then. Right. Let's just go inside and uh, check it. Ah, it's Uncle Mario. Let's see what you got to say, buddy boy. Salute, Uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. Okay, fair. Practice makes perfect. Learn how to fight from Mario. We do pretty well by ourselves, though. Right, let's see. Aha, let's go. Sport, to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. <sighs> no use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. No. He was born and bred to kill. <sighs> I find this difficult to believe. What of the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalogue of deaths? It right, I went a bit quick there, so I'll be quiet for the next ones. I'll let Mario talk. You are to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you'd have the Codex page he was holding as well. Codex? See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order. Your origin, purpose, and techniques. I'll see if you will. Your father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps, why oh. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind, Ezio. Always remember, nothing is true, everything is true. You have the classic saying, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Right, there we go. Perfect. Now to the next one. Let's see if Mario says anything else. Hopefully he will. Gives you some more information. Okay, for some reason Mario ain't talking. I guess I overstepped the audio a bit. Okay. I don't like this taunting thing. This just causes you to... This just causes trouble for you. I don't think I'll ever be using taunting. Maybe once or twice to see how it goes, but I don't think I'll be using it. Ah, here you go. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man. And we, the Assassins, are sworn to stand against them. Was Uberto one of them? Yes. And the other names on my father's list? Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Eh, it would explain many things. Well, Vieri is Templar. So... I guess that's why he's got a bad attitude about him. <laughs> oh, we got to fight Mario now. Right, let's use all the skills we know. Right. Come on, Mario. Let's see what you got, buddy. 
<laughs> nice. He doesn't need them anymore anyway. Nice. Right, let's try dodging him. Wait, there we go. Come on. What? Oh, that was short. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. I guess that's a no. I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come a voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. I can't admit. I, 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 I'm on both sides here. I mean, I can understand Mario's frustration. But I can also understand Ezio's because he hasn't been told this at all. This is all new to him. So that's why he hasn't got no sense of duty or nothing like that. If he was told at a younger age, maybe he would have been more committed Uncle. to it. Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that Vieri. Vieri. Right, let's, Vieri let's look. Di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Oh boy, well, that's interesting. I wish to join them. Ah well. You'll find what you need at the stables. Right, tell you what guys, I think we're going to leave here for a day. We hope you enjoyed today's video because we did a good, do a bit of good training. So please like, comment, of course, support the channel. I'll catch you all for the next episode where we go after Vieri. So until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, of course. Stay absolutely amazing. Cannot wait to get that snake.